Hey everyone, it's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews. This time over at Wendy's to scratch another one off that good old burger bucket list. So stay tuned because the Dave's Triple's up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So here we go with the Dave's Triple, and as the light shines through on what's looking like a beautiful situation, I am already digging what I'm checking out here already, guys. Take a look at this monstrosity of deliciousness. Starting off at the very bottom over here, we got three quarter pound patties stacked up nicely. And let's just start from top to bottom and we'll definitely get there. A very soft situation on that bun, of course. Let's take a look on the inside. We've got some light mayo, some ketchup, some pickles. Looks like we've got some raw onion, tomato, lettuce, and guys, underneath it, is the star of the show. Let me try and lift this up. Ooh, lots of gooey cheese right there. Three quarter pound patties of beef. I gotta say guys, lovely, lovely goodness right here. Looking amazing, super tall. Let's go a little further in, get a little bit more of that cheese pull action right there. Man, there is no shortage of deliciousness on deck here. We're going down one more time. Man, I can barely peel this one together. There's more cheese all over the place here, guys. Looking really, really good. Really glad to finally scratch this one off that burger bucket list. It looks amazing. A classic burger here at Wendy's done in triple form. Let's go in and see if the flavor is going to deliver. How could it possibly not? It's the Dave's Triple here at Wendy's. Let's peep out this flavor. Oh yeah, I was definitely looking forward to checking this one out after the Triple Baconator that I did recently because honestly, this is really the only other triple variant burger that Wendy's offers on their menu. So considering what this is, guys, again, look at how crazy insane that is right there. That is literally almost a pound of beef, three quarters of a pound to be exact before cooking with all the veggies on top right there. No bacon, obviously, but obviously a very big cheeseburger nonetheless. So I can't wait to get into this right now. But real quick, like always, before I do just that, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, the Dave's Triple, looking amazing. Let's go for it. Mmm. Mmm. Beefy already. You knew that though, right? Mmm. Juicy. That is straight up a block of meat and cheese goodness right there, guys. And honestly, just holding this in my hand when I first picked this one up is a lovely situation in and of itself because of how thick everything is on this one. Just like that Triple Baconator, which if you guys haven't checked that one out, take a look at that review popping up on your screen right now. It is exactly like that, but with the fresh goodies on the very top. Let me see if I can get a little bit of those with the next bite. Mmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> That is beyond insane with that light ketchup and mayo combination right there. And again, I'm not really a fan of mayo, so I'm getting a light little sweetness from the ketchup itself. But even that tomato, I'm not really tasting because like I said, this is literally a block of meat and cheese. And this is the only reason you'd want to get this is for that very reason alone. Delicious stuff. The patties are very fresh, very hot. And the melty goodness of that cheese off the chain, guys, as you know, I can barely keep up with this right now because it's so pasty with all the flavor in my mouth right now. In a very good way, let me just tell you. Let's go for another bite. We'll go for another couple with this one. But guys, it's delicious. You knew it was going to be. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. I am so down with these huge burgers right now. And again, with all that cheesy, gooey goodness in the middle right there, kind of keeping it all together, it's a beautiful thing. The flavor of the cheese is very dense, and I'm really digging that. But it's nice to know the veggies on top are definitely holding their own as well. The crunch of the onions and the pickles on the very top there, as you guys can see, it's not really doing too much to the overall flavor. I'm getting little hints of it because there's just so much meat here. But as you can see, guys, a beautiful situation. So let me go 360 since I've got this up for you. It is really, really awesome. Three quarters of a pound of fresh, never frozen beef before cooking and really just a nice showcase of the meat and cheese that they do very well over here at Wendy's. Definitely a bomb situation. I'm gonna go for one more bite of this and then we'll wrap this one up after the rating. But guys, super delicious. One more bite, let's do it. Mm. So yes, a definite appetite destroyer over here at Wendy's. And let me just also say, if you're watching this after midnight right now, please accept my humble apologies as always. Definitely run on over to Wendy's and give this one a shot. This triple is a beautiful situation and is worthy of trying right now. I'm so glad to add this to my Wendy's playlist because it's gonna go very nicely with that triple Baconator. This is really the one-two punch of what they do amazingly well over here at Wendy's in very gargantuan fashion, I might add. Very tasty.
So let's not waste any more time on this one, guys. The Dave's Triple over here at Wendy's is gonna get the obvious 10 out of 10. There is really nothing wrong with this burger whatsoever. The fact that it doesn't have bacon is not deterring from the fact that the overall flavor is delivering on its own anyway. And honestly, it's not meant to have bacon. That's really just a classic cheeseburger done in triple fashion. And I gotta say, even the double is decent. This triple is literally gluttonous overload. I would easily do it again because once in a while, you gotta go in on something like that. It is just too delicious not to. And I'm so glad to finally do it here on the channel. All right, so what I'm gonna ask you right now is pretty simple. If you're a fan of Wendy's in general, you've probably tried the Dave's single or the double anyway. Is the triple something you think you'd probably wanna go in on? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Dang, Wendy's, even at about half eaten right now, this actually still feels like a Dave's double just by itself. This is still pretty thick. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.